2009 was an extremely disappointing season for the Terrapin football team. The Terps were plagued the entire year by injuries, frustratingly inconsistent play, inexperience at key positions, and untimely turnovers. The Terps finished the year 2-10 and, and failed to qualify for a bowl game for the first time since 2005. They ended the season on a seven-game losing streak, and many speculated a disastrous year would cost Coach Ralph Friedgen his job. Way back in August, the Terps were optimistic about the upcoming season despite losing 31 players from 2008 and despite low expectations from the media. New defensive coordinator Don Brown had everybody excited about his aggressive defensive scheme, and senior quarterback Chris Turner finally had a firm grasp on his starting position to begin a season. But the Terps received an ugly wake-up call in their season opener on September 5th when Javid Best and the Cal Bears pummeled the Terps 52-13 in the season opener in Berkeley, California. The loss exposed weaknesses on the Terps' offense, defense, and special teams and proved to be a sign of things to come. The Terps returned home the following week to face the James Madison Dukes and they needed overtime to beat the football championship subdivision foe for their first win of the season. Freshman kicker Nick Ferrara, one of the Terps' few bright spots this season, kicked a 26-yard field goal in overtime to give the Terps the win. But the victory proved to be costly as senior cornerback Nolan Carroll broke his tibia and missed the rest of the season. Perhaps the Terps' worst loss of the season came next on September 19th when Middle Tennessee came to College Park and beat the Terps for the second consecutive year. The Blue Raiders drove the length of the field in the final minutes and kicker Alan Gendro kicked a game-winning 19-yard field goal as time expired to give MTSU a 32-31 win. The Terps lost at home to Rutgers the following week, 34-13, to finish the out-of-conference portion of their schedule 1-3. They had a brief glimpse of hope after the ACC opener against Clemson. The Tigers missed two late field goals that could have tied the game, and linebacker Demetrius Hartfield forced a fumble on the Tigers' final play of the game to seal a 24-21 win for the Terps. Running back Darrell Scott broke his forearm in the win, but the Terps were momentarily in first place in the Atlantic Division and were talking about how the Orange Bowl was still a possibility. But then the Terps went into a tailspin, beginning with a loss in a shootout at Wake Forest on October 10th. They then suffered consecutive losses in rainy conditions to traditional ACC bottle feeders Virginia and Duke. After a bye week, the Terps came up short in Raleigh, North Carolina against NC State, and Turner sprained his MCL in the first half against the Wolfpack. Backup Jamar Robinson saw the first extended action of his career in a 38-31 loss. The Terps were then thrashed 36-9 against Virginia Tech on November 14th in a lackluster afternoon blackout game in which thousands of Hokie fans invaded Bird Stadium. They then almost pulled off a major upset against Florida State in Seminole coach Bobby Bowden's final game at Doe Campbell Stadium, but gave up a touchdown in the final minute to lose 29-26. The 1917 loss on senior day to Boston College brought the long nightmare season to an end. Friedgen met with athletics director Debbie Yao for two days after the season, and on December 1st, Yao announced Friedgen would be retained for at least one more year. Friedgen pledged marked improvement in 2010.